Have you ever been in a position where someone outside of your organization said negative or untrue things about someone inside your organization? It happened to me once, and it was an opportunity. I'm going to share with you a story. So there was a gentleman on my team by the name of Brian, and Brian was very, very good at his job. Brian sold some of the largest accounts in the market. One of those accounts just happened to be to a very, very visible member of the business community, someone whose name were on billboards all over the city, and this person had a lot of influence. Well, my company had pretty much screwed up a lot of things in delivery of service. The services were wrong, there were outages, the bill was wrong, there was just a litany of issues. And she, during this phone call, when she called me, proceeded to read off this litany of all the things that were wrong, and I wrote them all down one by one. Brian, by the way, was sitting across my desk in the room listening to this entire call. So she gets through her list of issues, and then she gets to the one that stopped the conversation. That Brian guy, he lied to me. He told me things that weren't true, and he misrepresented your company. And I said, ma'am, hold it right there. I said, everything else you've said to this point is true. I'm going to take issue with him. I'm going to work on every one of these issues one by one. But I'm stopping you right there because I know for a fact he did not lie to you. He cannot lie to you. It's not in his character. And she said, well, but, and she tried to go again. I said, ma'am, one more time. Everything else, we'll fix it. That conversation's off limits. Don't go there again. And she proceeded to try to attack him again. He sit in the room and I said, ma'am, this call's over. And I hung up on her. And his jaw hit the floor. He could not believe that I suddenly had just hung up on one of the most powerful people in the city. I didn't care what it cost. She was wrong. She was over the line. He knew it. I knew it. She was just upset. Here's the deal. I had a choice. I could have placated her and to some extent sacrificed him, but no, it was wrong. She was off limits. I wanted her to know that I was going to take a stand when it came to accusing someone that was untrue. And so I stopped it right there. Here's the deal. If you want loyalty from your people, you have to be loyal to them first. News of that particular conversation spread like brush fire through the office. I mean, literally, I was almost a folk hero in a matter of hours. But the right thing to do was the right thing to do, which was to stop her conversation in the middle, no matter what the cost was, because I needed to be loyal to my guy because I knew he was in the right. So be loyal to your people first before you expect loyalty back from them.